Pew. Oh, that PlayStation 2 sound. Oh, I was going to make it a surprise. Yeah, Indiana Jones, the Emperor's Tomb. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm playing. <laughs> For PlayStation 2. Oh, I love it. Lucas Arts, rest in peace. Man, no more Monkey Island. And then the Collective. This game brought to you by the Collective. Stealing souls since 1991. If adventure has a name, it must be. Oh, I thought it was gonna be Flash Gordon. Yep, Indiana Jones. A 3D adventure game. You don't see a lot of those. Look at this. You get to shoot Nazis and to <laughs> get to beat up Phil Collins and out oh, rolling boulders, of course, of course. Some planes going on. Probably Nazis. I bet there's Nazis in this game. Cut through vines. Shoot people. Oh, whip people in the neck. It's kind of fucked. Oh, I get to get your ass kicked by geishas. Oh, man. I'm ready. I don't know about you guys, but my body is ready. You do this stuff and... Swimming, oh god, the swimming. Oh, so much swimming in this game. If memory serves, it's been a while, but I remember a lot of swimming. And then that thing, and then, oh. Oh, oh dear. Someone releases the Kraken. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I hate underwater bosses. If anybody's ever played Shadows of the Empire, you know my pain, because I just... Underwater controls, especially in these older games, sucked. And, you know, having to fight a boss with underwater controls, like, that's, <laughs> that's just not a good combo. Whoever thought that up should be fired. Um, so, yeah, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Bet you guys didn't guess that one. Um, yeah, it's, uh, again, like I said, 3D indie game. Um, well, Indiana Jones game. I guess I can't call it an indie game prevent confusion. Not a lot of these out there. You don't really see a lot of good Indiana Jones games. Um, like, I mean, there was, there's Lego ones. Lego games, in my opinion, are always really good. But then you also have uh, the SNES one, the Indiana Jones Adventures, I think it was called. Really solid game. I freaking love that game. Um, but that's kind of it, you know. I, I know of this game. I think there's one called the Infernal Machine for 64, but I never played it, but I, if it's a 3D game, then it probably sucked. I don't know, I'm just assuming. 3D 64 game with a whip, where you run around with a whip. Uh, Castlevania 64, anybody? Yeah, not the greatest game. Alright, so, let's start. Apparently, Indie 1. Let's be more crafty, shall we? Apparently, though, this game... <laughs> we're H. Well, that kind of killed the the fun. I had this cool idea I was going for, and now it doesn't seem so cool anymore. Anyway, uh... Yeah, apparently this game came out for the 360. Xbox 360... Or no, 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 I'm sorry. It came out for the Xbox. And... But it was also ported to the PlayStation 2 and the game got fairly good reviews unless it's the PlayStation 2 version which is the version I'm playing right now apparently the game was so bad on the PlayStation 2 like such a weak port that um, it uh, it just got terrible reviews so let's let's see let's see if it's uh, as bad as we think it is yeah we're gonna overwrite this because what the hell there we go apparently it's all the d-pad uh, yeah, X is select, triangles back. But I can do it all with the D-pad. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Oh, yeah. So they call him Indy, but we all know what his real name is. Yeah. It's Henry Jones. They're not going to make let me fit it in, are they? That's what she said. Jones. Eh, uh, went the wrong way. <laughs> Ah, oh, Henry John. Okay, fine. Let's just call him Henry Jr. There. Don't call me Jr. You call him Dr. Jones. Ah, oh, that's what I should have put. Oh, well. Um, Henry, jo Henry Jr. <laughs> it's going to be our save. 
because I like to waste everybody's time. Oh my god, this takes forever to save. Jesus. Saving, saving, saving. Whoa. Just saving, saving, saving. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made it annoying because that's how it is. Yeah? Huh? Anybody? Okay. Alright. Let's start, shall we? Just a quick thing before we get started. I just want to point out something really interesting about this game, which I can't really show via, you know, without this. Um, this is the game right here, right? Um, but I just wanted to point out that the manual for this game, like, holy crap, this thing is awesome. Like, it, I can't even... It looks like a travel journal. Yeah, 1935 journal. It has a little, it looks like there's a little paper clip in there. Like, that's so badass. Look at the back. The back has like a little, little note thing. But even the inside, it's like, look at the contents. It looks like it's supposed to be handwritten and stuff. There's some, some Chinese on there. There's a note from Indy. Like, it's an actual freaking journal. Marcus says I need a calling card for when I'm out in the field and not immersed in academics. Like, January 5th, this is January 6th, he wrote the contents for some reason. That doesn't make sense, but still. Like, look at this. It shows you the controls, but there's even, like, you know, a little note. A note from Marcus. A note from Marcus in, in this thing. Like, what the hell? Look at all this. This has nothing to do with how to play the game. It's just... It's just stuff about artifacts. Yeah, they don't make games like this anymore. This. Look at that. Foreshadowing? Well, I mean, uh, whatever. Yeah. It's a poster for Club Obi One from Temple of Doom with Willy on it. They got a picture of Willy for a manual for an Indiana Jones game. That has nothing to do with Temple of Doom. At least, to my knowledge so far. But, yeah, there's more notes. A newspaper article. Not since Earthbound have I seen this much stuff. That wasn't really a manual. That was like the strategy guide, basically. Yeah, there's all this stuff that... A map? Like, what is this? Like, this gives you nothing about the game, but, like, flavor. Actually, I think it... I think it actually shows you all the locations. So, spoilers. There's a Morse code key. Shows you Morse code. Yeah! And then it shows you how to do combat stuff, but it doesn't just tell you, oh, you push this button to do this. Illustrations. What the fuck? It's, it's indie beating up on Nazis. What the uh, Look at this. Action icons. But on the side, there's this little, little more flavoring. Like, yeah, they don't make games like, they don't make manuals like this anymore. They don't even give a shit anymore in manuals. You know, and this game has a tutorial. Like, you'll find out soon enough that it tells you, you know, you push this to do this, you push this to do this, this icon means do this. It's still in the manual. They still put it in the manual and still put a lot, a lot of work and care into it. Like, these people clearly love Indiana Jones, but I mean, it's, you know, LucasArts, so rest in peace. But, <clears throat> to give you an example, I got Borderlands 2 here for Xbox 360. Love this game. This game's awesome, and I know there's a creative team behind it because the jokes in it are hilarious, just the story in general is hilarious. It's a beautiful looking game. Look at the manual, okay? Are you ready for this? This is the manual. There's a cover. First page. Next couple pages. That's it. I advertise it for XCOM. That's it. There's not even, there's five pages. They even had to mark page numbers, even though you know, a five-year-old could count how many pages are on this. I don't even think, is there contents? There isn't even a table of contents, so I have page numbers. You know, it's so ridiculous. And I mean, it's colorful, sure, but it's just like managing your stuff, playing the game, you know? It's boring. I don't even need this. I, again though, the game, cause this game, cause this game, tells you how to play the play it in the game. You know, it tells you this is how the controls work, this is how the HUD works, all this stuff. Manual, piece of crap. This game, same thing. It tells you everything you need to know in the game. But this, yeah. Anyway. Rant over. Okay, so without further ado, push start. And uh apparently we fly out of the roof. 
Indiana Jones has learned the ability of flight. That'd be an interesting movie. All right, we're on Ceylon, Bay of Bengal, Gulf of Manor, Va Variapala, Va Variapala, a Wari, Wariapala. So, uh, fuck it. We're in some place. Nah. <laughs> As is Indiana Jones tradition. We start off on some sort of adventure that usually has very little to do with the rest of the plot. But uh, we'll see. It's actually a fun fact about this game. No. Oh, hmm. According to the map, that stone head marks the secret entrance into the lost city. Beyond the city lies the Temple of the Black River Goddess, and uh -huh. inside, the idol of Kuru Oh, interesting. Oh, Alright, so we're Indiana Jones, so oh, check me out. Oh yeah! How did I get back? Oh, oh geez. Well, would I just climb up here? I wonder? Oh yeah, there's a rope. Can I? Fall up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that can happen. Now we all know. Anyway, as I was saying, um, before, you know, nothing interesting happened. Hey, get out here, bird. It's my temple. Is, uh, back when I played this when I was way younger, uh, I actually... Oh, it's just tutorial stuff. Um, I actually got to the very end where there's kind of an end boss, spoilers. Um, and I got to the very end boss, kicked my ass, and I just gave up. Like, I never picked up the game since. So, uh... Yeah, that's, that's kind of my history behind this game. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Apparently, you can roll. Oh, 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 check me out. That can come in handy. Now, I think this is the exit, but secret waterfalls. There's always something hidden behind waterfalls. I don't care if there isn't. There's always something hidden behind secret waterfalls. I've played enough Link to the Past in my life. And look at looky looky. We've got uh Fortune and Glory, here I come. Fortune and glory, kid. Fortune and glory. Yeah, you can pick up artifacts in each game in each uh, map. There's like three per adventure thing, like this temple I'm going through is gonna be like one whole section. Uh, so there's gonna be three idols, three artifacts in here, and they get pretty, like, they're pretty well hidden, so hopefully we'll be able to find all of them. I figure if I'm gonna play through this game, I might as well try to get all the collectibles. Yee-hee-hee-hee, -hee -hee, birds! Okay. Oh, and look at this. We got... I can use this water to fill up my canteen. Check it out. Yep, this is how health works <laughs> in this game, is water break a leg from a long fall, no worries, just gotta drink some water and you'll feel rise rain. I'm just assuming I have to climb up here, I actually don't know what I'm doing. Yeah! Try jumping, okay, so I am going the right way, I think. Oh hey! Ooh, I got a revolver. Six shots, okay. I got a wh oh yeah! Mmm! Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so that does that. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's how I get across here, though. Oh, I got the idol, which I can't do anything with. And a map. How do I... What? Okay. Okay, that's how you put stuff away. <laughs> eh. Oh, there we go. What? Uh. Elephant Shrine, Crocodile City, a Temple, a Forest, the <laughs> City Gates, Head Monument, Rope Bridge. I don't like the sound of Crocodile City. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, as if they named it that. Uh, well, where am I? Am I anywhere here? Head Monument? Oh, Head Monument. Okay, I see. Some in the forest. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's how I jump. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Indy grabs ledges. That's good to know. And we got a dead body. The looks of this place. Uh, uh, what the? Oh, 
Machete. Sweet. Shank guys. Cut their gizzards uh, open. Spill their gizzards, whatever. Oh, that's blocked. Because of an earthquake or something. Press and hold. Walking off. Uh, okay. How do I? Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh, what the hell? I took damage from that. As if... As if falling from... Ah, oh, whatever. Okay. Moving on this way. I assume I need the machete for something. Oh. Okay. Uh... Eh. Eh. <laughs> I'm not how you cut vines, Indy. Oh, whatever. It works. Good thing uh, I brought my oh. Web. Oh yeah, I remember this. It's all coming back to me now. Oh, except for how to do it right. There we go. And more of that. And more of this. Eh, eh. And an exit. All right. <laughs> well, that was that. End of level. No, okay. This goes on like this for a while, so I might cut it down to two of these per per uh, video. We'll see. Some may be way longer than others, I don't remember. Alright, so we're now slipping and sliding, I guess. I don't know where we are. But apparently it's been recently inhabited, because there's torches. Hmm. No, I guess I can't pick them up. Oh! What? <laughs> okay, apparently you could wall grab. And when you do, and he does a funky little dance. Oh, yeah, check him out. Okay, enough of that. Uh, oh, more vines. God damn it. Eh, can't. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Alright. Got another skeleton. Oh. Uh, what? Oh. Ivory hunters. These guys are no boy scouts. You better watch my back. That no cookie. Wait, ivory hunters? As in, like, they hunt elephants? don't think you're going to find any elephants in here. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's an Indiana Jones story after all. Then again, like maybe they're just like searching for artifacts with ivory in it, which in retrospect makes them no better than Indy, but whatever. Oh! Uh. Uh. Oh, I can fuck this guy up. Aw, oh, dang it! Ah. Ah. I... <laughs> I rode the knuckle train? I'm in my element. Ah, shit. <laughs> Holy crap, I cannot hit this guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, I need to kick someone there down. Play's dirty. Die, fucker. Jesus Christ. Alright. That was ridiculous. Spells it out for me. Oh, that was doing good. Oh, what? As if that hurt me. Dead he is. God dang it. So now I'm gonna beat the shit out of this guy. Kick him. Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Kick them when they're down. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, I can. Interesting. Oh, there's more. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, Indy might find something of use if he breaks nearby boxes. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna need to break every single box. Wait, is this something? How do I pick this triangle? <gasps> Revolver ammo. Well, let's see, shall we? Um, oh, another box. Eh. Think they can hear me? No, apparently not. Okay. Wait. Wait. I have an idea. How do I... Oh, okay, there we go. Right, right? Where's that rope? I can barely fucking see it. Eh. How do you shoot? Oh, God. Like a dumbass, I'm pushing right trigger to shoot. It's axe. What? Ah, dang it. Alright, well. Oh, jeez. This fucker's about to... Ah, this fucker's did break bottles over me. Ah! Quit hitting me with bottles, jerk. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> He's got a chair. 
So you can play at that game. Oh. <laughs> two, two, how do you pick shit up again? Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, and it's only the first level. Technically second. Fuck off, Phil Collins. Alright, well, uh, that was shitty. <laughs> How the hell? The crate looks like something, but, oh, you know what? Yep, that's what I was supposed to do. Dang it. <coughs> Son of a bitch. Now I need health really bad. There's all these boxes. Uh, <laughs> right. Did I? Oh, I came out this way. Yeah, I came out this way. So it's in here. Ooh, it's a shovel. Uh, oh man! This would have been useful. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh. <laughs> Indiana Jones, famous archaeologist. And only use a shovel to beat the shit out of people. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't. I guess. No, I guess you can't have any inventory. It's lame. Let's see what's up this way. Well, there's a whip thing. But I hear water. In this area over here is suspect, so. Yep. No. I gotta learn to do this better. There we go. Yep. There we are. Just as I thought. Boop. Boop a doop. Uh, uh, as if these little things hurt me, like little things you can't avoid. Oh yeah, I know how to do this. Wait for it. Yeah. You can tell by the way I walk along a woman's man. Alright. Uh, uh <laughs> really close there. What the Okay, so if I... Oh, oh so... Oh. Is that if I get... Eh? 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 What the hell? Oh, it's on a weight. There we go. Yeah. Wait, oh, that wouldn't have hit them, would it? So now I have reason to believe there's something in it. And Jackpot. that would be artifact number two. Mahavuta, Mahavatu. Can't put it on. No, can't put it on. Damn it. I wonder if this is the level, because I think that's going to hurt me again. No. Oh. <laughs> it didn't hurt me that time. I must have done it wrong. <laughs> must, have, must have pushed the X button wrong. Whip it. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> it's obvious of a joke. Is this it? Oh, no. There's a whippy thing. Yep. Oh, oh god! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright, well. At least now I know about climbing vines. I'm a, I'm a terrible Indiana Jones. <laughs> Can't tell you how much that hurts for my self esteem. No, I'm terrible at that. And kick a broken pillar. Yeah, apparently that's a mechanic, even though I don't think it is ever used the rest of the game. But we'll see. Right here we have. Oh, water. Oh, god damn it, there's water. Ouch. <laughs> and I'm hurting myself just by dropping like a short distance. Oh, I don't want to go in. Oh, god. Um, oh. <laughs> Water surface. Some in there. Hey, where'd my hat go? My hat! I'm missing a hat. Holy crap. Oh, oh there's my hat. <laughs> they programmed an entire system around Indy taking off and putting on his hat. And he got some much needed health. By making very short drops. It's still stupid. I think. I feel like I should go that way. Okay. 
See, that didn't hurt me. Fuck. <laughs> now where? Is that a platform? It is. Okay. Up. And oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a guy there. There's a guy there. It looks like he's holding a weapon. It looks like he sees me too. That's fun. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Why? Oh. Fuck. Fucker's got like a hunting rifle or something. Jesus. Ah. Oh, God. You know what? This guy deserves the whip. Throw me the whip. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck your shotgun. Mm. I think the whip does anything. Definitely isn't killing him. Oh shoot. Kick him while he's down? Yeah, there we go. Man, that guy took whips to the face like a champ. Alright, um. Shotgun. This ought to even up the odds. Oh, only one bullet. Ooh, nice. Looking good. Yeah, you know, how come Indy never carried a shotgun in the movies? It's kind of silly, isn't it? Kind of badass. No, oh, goddamn it! Son of a. How come you no work? Okay, there we go. Well, where do I go? Oh, oh, that's where I go. Oh God, it's water. It's more water. Ooh, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here, get me out of here. Where do I go, where do I go, where do I go? Surface? Where's the surface? Is that a surface? Oh, it's the surface. Okay. Well, so far... Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. So far, I don't think we've made it to Croc City yet. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, God. This is why I don't play platform, 3D platform games. Ever ask me to play through Mario 64? Forget about it. Alright. Because I know there's hidden artifacts, I feel like I should check. Switches. Crocodile switch. Yeah, this is all crocodiles. Where am I? Am I in Asia somewhere? Do they have crocs? I should ask some questions like that. Those guys are armed. And they're playing the Indiana Jones. Seem like I should be doing something cool here. Gun! Don't run. Don't run. <laughs> Holy crap. Guns are amazing. I'm just gonna use my gun all the time. Shoo. Well, I guess I'm supposed to go this way. What the? Oh, that's where I came. Okay. Here we go. Alright. Well, that was fun. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb or something like that. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time as we dive deeper and get the hidden idol of Ura. Wat. Wat. Shoo. Ura. Pikachu. I choose you. Um, yeah, bye. <laughs> Fuck. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. I wasted bullets. Stop chasing me. <laughs> Why use anything other than guns? Seriously.